Hello and welcome back to another episode of Beer Bar and Beyond. My name is Andrew. Thank you for tuning in again. Today we've got another beer tasting for you. We've got something pretty special out of one of my favorite breweries, uh, if not my favorite brewery down here in the Western Cape, the Acre Project, based out in Nurtuk. Head Brewer Rory does some amazing beers, always pushing the limits, producing seasonal brews, experimental brews, one-off brews, limited editions. The standard year-round servings are also fantastic. Just a wonderful brewery and producing some of the best quality beers in South Africa. This is part of the, the Brewers small batch uh, releases. Prior to this, they had an Australian coffee IPA. He also put out a collaboration, I think it was with Dissident, like a Belgian triple, which is really nice. I love the coffee IPA. I think they did a brown ale as well, which unfortunately I missed. And this is with Breakwater, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're out in England. This is a Red Imperial IPA. Comes in at 7% alcohol by volume and 50 IBUs. Really excited to try this. Rory always seems to hit it out the park with IPAs, big bold IPAs. He did a Crush IPA, it was a citrus IPA, it was a spring seasonal. That thing was a beast. He pushes the limits in terms of IPAs, which is great. As informed beer drinkers, I think that's what we are wanting to see from brewers. So let's open it up, get it into the glass, give it a smell, and uh, most important, give it a taste. A bit heavy handed on the pour there. Very nice looking beer, my rather brash pour was probably responsible for the amount of head on this one. But you're looking at about three to maybe four fingers of off-white head. A really stunning looking reddy sort of auburn colour, mahogany colour in a way. Deep brown red hue, stunning looking beer, decent carbonation, bubbles are still filtering up the side of the glass there really nicely. Right, well let's get the nose on this one shall we? Mm. Getting some uh, piney notes, some citrus, a bit of mango, piney, grass. There's some sweet notes as well, some stone fruit, apricots maybe. But a really nice nose all in all. So it's time for the moment of truth then, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Wow, that is nice and bitter. At 7%, um, the booze is really well hidden. I mean, that's not a huge alcohol volume, but you're definitely not getting a lot of booze on here. Some sweet flavors, some mango, some apricot, it lingers. There's a great mouthfeel on this. Um, really clings to the inside of your mouth. It's a good balance of malts and, and hops. Uh, quite a well-rounded beer. Overall, though, very nice beer. Big, bold, bitter beer. A couple of these is really gonna ruin your palate. It would take a brave beer drinker to uh, to have more than two pints of these. As it warms up, it's actually changing a bit, getting some more malt characteristics, a bit of that caramel sweetness, and then it's sort of really just drowned out by massive hot bitterness. Really nice. They did have this on tap at the Woodstock Winter Beer Festival, and uh, it sold out really quickly. And you can you can see why. Well worth trying if you can get your hands on it still. Thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, really appreciate it. I'd really like some more feedback from viewers. Any comments, any suggestions on beers to review, anything you'd like to see, please let me know in the comment section below. So folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, keep drinking great beers and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.